Arsenal Fan TV here with Matty from the Magpie channel. Oh, Look yeah, at it, big smile on his face. He's happy. See he called think. it yesterday as well in his preview. Did said You said 2 1, didn't you? And um, it didn't look that way at first. I mean, Arsenal were playing, I thought at the start of the game, we were playing well, as well as I've seen us play mm. for a long time away from home, for about the first 20 minutes. Mm. And we were popping the ball around, and I was thinking we'll get more. Willock should have made it too, mm. didn't. Nah, missed, missed it. Then you got, got back in the game, and then after that, I was so disappointed with how we performed. What, what did you make of your performance? You're right. I mean, you started the bright. I think we came in the game where you think we'd have a bit more freedom to play, but the occasion got to a bit early on. You got the early goal. It was a good goal. But from that, you didn't kick on, and we did. Like, mm. second half, you had a chance. It was 1-1. One, one. You had a chance to come out of the blocks. You didn't. We took our chances. I thought Shelby was amazing today, picking mm. out the passes. Again, he should be going to Russia. How many players mm. can pick out a pass like that? You, yeah. I mean, Wilshire. You had... Mate, he was meant to be in the last two friends, he didn't make it. You, mm. you know, you pick out Shelby's. You think he's better than Wilshire then? You, you, I'd, take, yeah. I'd take both. I'd take both. Mm. I'd rather them both be there than Livermore and Henderson. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I would. But obviously, it's Shelby's discipline and Wilshire's fitness is the problem in it. But mm. teams out are going to unlock teams like Chinese and Panama. Mm. Dyer and Henderson aren't. Mm. <laughs> Do you mean? Safe now, you guys? Definitely safe, mate. I mm. thought we were, anyways, after the results yesterday because Southampton trailing 10 points behind were. Hit that magic 40 point mark, as I say. We're on 41 now. Definitely safe, mate. I totally. Mm. What did you make of Arsenal today? Well, it was a change that he wanted, which is understandable because you're putting all your eggs in the Europa League basket. So even your bench was weak. But I thought you still got Lacazette or Birmingham in front, but they just didn't get enough service, did they? Mm. Um, and your, your back four needs changing. Mustafi's had a stink. I called that in the preview as well. It was the carbon copy of how Salah scored against you last week. Mm. Shane Long, he nicked in front of him. Yeah. Perez nicked in front of him. Czech needs to hang up his helmet and retire. He's past it. <laughs> Still, so. Yeah, it's hard to argue with a lot of things he's saying, but it will be good to be coming. Listen, this is a major, major stadium here. Mm. Major, major team. I know you guys ain't won that for a long time, but passionate support. Everybody knows that. Newcastle, even like if you're playing away, you've always got a great support. Mm. We can't be losing teams like you out of the Premier League, can we? Nah, man. It's teams like us that deserve to be in the Premier League. You've, you've seen the fans around here just here right now watching mm. you, mate. Like, the fans are turning up. We sold out games in the Championship every week. The lads down the road kind of fill up the first year. So, <laughs> I mean, so well, we had to have his dig at Sunderland, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> but nah, it's, teams like this is good to see in the Premier League. Even like Wolves coming up, you know, teams from around the league. You know, yeah. We belong here. So you think you do here. better next year? If Ashley goes, eh? Mm. If, Ash, if Ashley goes, then yeah, definitely. Mm. Even, if, even if Ashley stays, he reinvests, which we know he doesn't, but we need, we need investment, we need that number nine. And will you be able to keep hold of Benitez? Because there must be a lot of clubs around Europe mm. looking at it and thinking to themselves, you know what, he's an experienced manager, Champions League winner, you know mm. what I mean? He's, he's, he's done it at the highest level. Mm. There might be some clubs looking at him and thinking... Apparently there is, apparently he's linked with the return back to Spain, but he's settled here, he said he'll stay over a decade because he loves the club, but it all depends on the summer and the investment, because he's not going to continue just floating about mid-table in relegation battles, it's not him, he's got a Champions League to be his name, do you know what I mean? So he's going to want a challenge for probably next season, maybe top six, top eight, mm. realistically if you get a good budget in the summer, but he's, he'll, he'll walk, I don't think he'll stay with Ashley if there's another transfer window full of broken promises. Mm. Well listen, fair play to you guys, I think you deserved it today, I can't argue with that, mm, um, it was a good me. game. Well, it was a good game for you lot. I don't know, <laughs> but, uh, congratulations yeah, anyway. Man, appreciate Cheers. It. Nice one, Exciting news. There's a brand new show called The Real Football Fan Show coming to Channel 4 on Thursday the 19th of April. Then every Thursday after that till the end of the season. It's going to be broadcast at midnight and you've got to check it out. It's going to feature fans from all around the Premier League. So make sure you check it out. Hosted by myself, Robbie.